Good afternoon, everyone. This is Keith here coming at you again. Another one of my crazy models. And this one is a uh, mounting plate that fits in an ACR 72 ammo box. Give you a little rundown of the nomenclature of this board. These right here are standoffs. There are enough standoffs, perfectly spaced, to accommodate any boards in the F-16 V-2R or the F-16 V-3 series. Now, the standoffs, as you can see, I put supports on each one so they're pretty sturdy. They already have the holes. You know, they take number four sheet metal screws, half inch long. And they need to use sheet metal screws because these holes are not pre-threaded. You have to actually cut the sheet metal screws will actually cut the threads into them. These standoffs here will accommodate a main board. These over here will accommodate expansion boards and differential boards. Over here we have the power supply area. This is actually a custom made model to suit my purposes. These power supply supports will accommodate an HP uh, 750 watt power supply with the breakout board. I'm talking the power supply like this. The breakout board I got on sale from Parallel Miter. It actually has an on off switch and a voltage meter. The only thing I'm, I'm concerned about. Is where you screw in your power cords. I'm hoping I can get high enough gauge power cords to work fine with these. I'm still waiting on my uh, wire to get here. I have it on order. <clears throat> you can see these power supplies set right in here in opposing orientation. And there's a second model that's actually a cap that goes on top of these and screws into the little hole in the standoff here. Holds these solidly in place. <clears throat> these HP server power supplies, I'm really happy with those. Like I say, they're 750 watts apiece. That's a total of 1500 watts of power in this box. One power supply can handle a main board or an expansion board. So two power supplies will handle whatever board configuration you want to put in here. Also, I added recently these cable guides here. You can run a cable from your power supplies to these guides to whichever board you want to use. Now as far as the printing properties of this board, or this plate I should say, I've printed four of these already and approved my prints every time. The best settings that I have found so far is 40% infill with a grid pattern, that's in Cura, 0.32 layer height, and this next part is very important, a two millimeter wall width and a one millimeter top and bottom. Those settings will give you an optimal print. It's good and sturdy. I mean, obviously it's plastic, it's going to break if you bend it too far, but it is good and strong. All these holes that you see in here are just places that I have removed filament to cut down on the amount of filament it takes. You can print one of, the, one of these boards and the uh, power supply cap 
a little over half a roll of filament. So you're talking approximately, you know, the average price of filament, probably about 12 bucks to print one of these total. And then the screws. By the way, this screw here for the cap is a number six, three quarter inch sheet metal screw. This hole here, we'll also need to cut that, cut the threads in on that. That's the reason you use the sheet metal screws. And as far as uh, attaching this into the ammo box, I'm very simple with that. Uh, I use a lot of construction adhesive. You coat the bottom of this with construction adhesive real good. You can't use too much of it. You press it in there and give it about 24 hours to cure and that thing's not coming out. And the good thing about these plates you can put them together, wire them all up, put everything outside of the box so you have plenty of room, plenty of room to work with it, and then glue it into the box. As you can see here, I've got another configuration. This is the uh, F16B3 series, main board, expansion board, and differential board. And this is one with the V2R series. Obviously, they only handle two boards. So with one of these uh, mounting plates, you can put together a control box fairly quickly and fairly easily. So anyway, that's about all I can tell you about it. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. This, uh, the two files will be uploaded to uh, 3D printing for Christmas light enthusiast group by the time I release this video. So, uh, like I say, this is a specialty model created just for my needs, but I know there are others out there that use the HP server power supply, so hopefully a couple of you can get some use out of these. Thanks for watching, guys.